Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here in London. I'm in my sister's garden right next to the river. I'm not in a cage. This is just a wire fence to keep the children from jumping in the in the lake or the river, I should say. So here I am, still jet lagged, but I'm here nonetheless. Um, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and I really hope that you enjoy these readings and that you keep coming back. And if you're coming back, thank you. You're the reason I do this. Thank you so much. Anyway, so let's, um, oh, okay. So I, I just have to do my sales pitch, darling. <laughs> <laughs> These readings that I uh, do, are, first of all, it'll be for the um, 2nd of July through the 8th of July. And last week in the intro, I said happy birthday cancer because it's cancer season. So it confused everyone. So I'll wait till I get to the cancer re reading before I say happy birthday. Um, this is for your sun, moon and rising. I'll have all the links to the other videos below in the see more section. Also, this is a private reading guys. So if you would like a personal reading, if you click on this, um, you can get a personal or find out how to get a personal reading through that link and also thank you for all those that um got readings from me on instant go it was amazing i actually did two last night at three one at three forty five in the morning i was completely jet lagged three forty five uh uk time um so thank you I really appreciate that. Now, another way to support me is through Patreon and that link will be right here and you can uh, click on that. I have I have varying uh, rewards, reward levels and I do posts just specifically for Patreons that I don't usually do for, you know, regular, um, you know, for everyone. So um, let me see what else. Please don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe if you haven't already. So now the uh, astrological report for the week. Um, so on the 4th of July, this is for the 4th through the 8th, on the 4th of July, happy Independence Day, America. You're independent from us. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm American, so I can't even say that anymore. I'm now American. Um, Wednesday on Independence Day, <laughs> Mercury in Leo opposes Mars in Aquarius. What does that mean now? So Mercury, the planet of intellect, thought, communication and technology um, is in Leo. Now that's like creative thought, you know, it's the, it's all about identity. So you, you know, it's creative thinking, right? And it's opposing Mars, Mars, the planet of war action, um, in Aquarius, which is humanitarian, social. Um, so what this means a Mars, actually Mars is retrograde technically, but really it's kind of stationary. You know, a planet has to go into a stationary, uh, position before it can change direction, right? You slow down and then you go um, in another direction. So Mars is still a bit stationary right now. So what that does is it enhances all the energies. Um, so I think on the negative side, we could have some challenging uh, communications issues, some kind of miscommunication. And on the positive side, we could have some really incredible creative ideas of uh, what to do next or where to go next. Um, now on the fifth, the sun in cancer is in a, cancer is about the home, it's about family, it's about nurturing, um, it's about intuition um, and that is going to, um, that's in a really positive connection to Jupiter in Scorpio. Now Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Scorpio is the, planet, the planet of, uh, Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth and um, secrets and uh, power and control, right? Um, so this is in a positive aspect. Now it's also in a positive aspect. So Scorpio is a water sign, right? Cancer is a water sign because the sun's in Cancer. And it's also, the sun in Cancer is also in a positive aspect to Neptune in Pisces, another water sign. Neptune is the planet of illusion and dreamlike and uh, spirituality, the unseen, the intangible. 
Um, so this uh, and, and Pisces is the water sign, another water sign. Oh, everything, it's a bit blow, it's a bit windy here. I hope you can hear me properly. I've got my mic showing here um, because it needs to be closer to me so that you can hear. So this is what we call in astrology, we call this a grand water trine. Now, what does that mean? That means that we could really have, and, and a trine is a very positive aspect, so we could have, you know, it's going to be emotional, guys. Um, we are also coming up to the eclipse, don't forget, uh, the eclipse season, and we have a new moon eclipse, at the, a new moon lunar eclipse at the end of the month, um, uh, towards the end of the month. So we're kind of feeling these energies. Eclipses are all about releasing, right? So we could have some really healing kind of emotional uh, experiences and with close family and, uh, and close relationships or friendships who, whom we can consider as uh, family. So I think this could be a very positive healing experience and the release of emotions so that we can actually release it and allow it to go over. So I think that this is a wonderful healing opportunity. So that that's all I want to say for the astrology report today and let's go to your reading shall we? Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for July the 2nd through July the 8th and the first card out for you I'm here in London by the way so you might hear lots of noises because it is the center of London even though you don't think it would be because it's so pretty out here but it's a Saturday I'm recording this on Saturday and people are out in their gardens making noise so I'm going to um, mention that beforehand so here we are the first card out for you is the Hierophant and that is Oh, sorry, the hermit. <laughs> it's the hermit. Um, so the hermit, he's, he's, this, um, he's this person that kind of takes a step back from society, goes into a cave, reads all he can, learns everything. He's a voracious reader and learner, and he connects with the higher realm through meditation, and he comes out really wise and knowledgeable and he knows the way and he holds a light up for to show everyone the way this is the light at the end of the tunnel this is a message that you know i i always say that this is about meditation it's about quietening the mind so that the message can come in and this is the message guys call this you are being asked you are being called to start your life purpose so whatever you maybe you're doing a little something on the side maybe you're passionate about something but this is about what you're 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 here to do something to accomplish something we all are you have to ask yourself what is that some of you may know some of you may not but this is your call to action to start at least plan your life purpose whatever that may be um, you see that beautiful card it's a call to action guys Sagittarius get on it now the next card is the wheel of fortune things are going to start turning in your favor the wheel is going around and it is it's been around the bottom it's coming up right it's coming up so you've been kind of on a downswing and now it's coming up it's turning in your direction Sagittarius and we've got two cards um, clarifying that you've got the three of air I thought it said eight, but I don't have my glasses. I left them in the house. The three of air is about, it's about old pain. It's about pain really deep within you. It's like a broken heart. It's a, somebody who broke your heart. It's somebody who betrayed you. It's, it's kind of betrayal, heartbroken pain. It's a, we all get it at some point, right? So this has been coming up for you maybe recently. Um, or perhaps you're even going through it, some of you. Um, 
But this indicates, right, because you've got the messenger of water, which is love, right? You've got, this is, you have to, you really have to bring this up and release this. This is in the past and it came in the past position. And this is the future, the messenger of water, which is love, new love coming in for you. Um, look, I love that. The seahorse is there. You have, I feel that you've been through some really difficult times, Sagittarius, and you've been through heartache. Things are going to take a turn for the better for you. Um, but in order for you to really be, um, what do I want to say, engrossed in that wonderful feeling of love, you really have to let go of the past pain. It's not serving you anymore. Um, so it's time to let go of that. And this is a perfect time to release because we're coming into eclipse season. Eclipses are all about leaving the pain behind, leaving think, the past in the past. It's like going forward with renewed energy. Don't bring that, I want to, don't bring that crap into the present or the future. You've got to leave it back there because if you don't, it kind of affects your relationships um, now. So you, it's about releasing all that pain from the past. You know, it's usually deep rooted family pain. And actually, that's what's happening astrologically. It's really perfect to kind of let that go. I'm really hoping the swans that come up and down here and, and the last five readings, they came by for each we reading. So I'm really hoping they come by for you, um, Sagittarius. They're so beautiful. Um, anyway, the next card we have is the Knight of Swords, you see. He's this, he's ready to attack and defend. And he has, a, he's got a purpose, right? Your call. He has a life purpose and his purpose is to protect and serve and, you know, attack if necessary. So he's kind of laser focused and he has one kind of uh plan he knows how he's going to do it he knows where he's going to do it and he's laser focused now the problem is with with the knight of swords is that sometimes situations change and he's not aware of that so he could because he's so laser focused on the end result that he's not taking a look around and and perhaps realizing that his action is no longer required right so when this card comes up, it's saying, listen, just take a moment to look around and see what's going on. Really take note of what's happening in, uh, in your present day, because things may have changed without you even realizing. And it's important for you to recognize the change of Sagittarius for you to move forward. And clarifying it is the Queen of Water. Um, She's rich. Look, she helps everyone. She works really hard for her people. Sometimes she helps to the detriment of her of herself. So when she comes up, it's saying, take, take care of yourself. Don't forget to look after yourself. Don't forget, you know, in all this. And also what I am getting, actually, is that you're getting help. That's exactly what I'm getting. Help is coming for you. You are definitely being uh, carried right now, Sagittarius. Things are really working in your direction. I think you need to kind of sit back, look around, take notice. Here are the swans. You see things are looking up. They're all coming by. Oh my God, there's a mummy, daddy, and there are seven little. I want, I've got, are they siglets or singlets? Something like that. They're so lovely. They're little grey furry. They're coming. You'll see them in the background right now. What a treat. You see? Gorgeous. <laughs> Things are turning in your direction, Sagittarius. I'm so happy. Look, look at the little ones. Here they are. And then the mummy is behind. Or it could be the daddy. I'm not sure. Can't tell the difference. Well, now because you've seen those beautiful swans we i dropped one of my crystals we are going to oh it's over there we're going to pull um a romance angel card for sing first of all single sagittarians 
and then uh, partnered Sagittarians. So it's beautiful out here. It's just a perfect little breeze. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, there it is. Oh, so single Sagittarians. Love yourself first. <laughs> Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. There you go. How perfect is that? And now we're going to pull a card for, or we're going to allow a card to fall, I should say, uh, for partnered Sagittarians. Let's see what the wonderful romance angels have to say for the partnered Sagittarians. What wonderful gifts, guidance and blessings. There it is. Oh my goodness. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This is like really make the effort in your relationship. Put your relationship front and center. Of course, after spirit. Beautiful. Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. If you know someone who has a birthday and you'd like me to give a shout out, I'm, I'm really happy to do that. Please uh, put that in the, um, the uh, comments below and I will, you know, give them a shout out next week with your name, of course. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I'll see you next week. All the babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um, for a personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com. They're at the ugly duckling stage. Maybe four weeks. I can make no, I'm just saying that because of the no, story. Sure.